The purpose of this program is to help students in quantum physics solve and visualize the quantum dot and the quantum donut problem. We're going to start with the quantum dot problem, which is just a free particle, uh, zero potential, and so we're going to select dot. So this gives us what our wave equation is going to look like. In order to find the lowest energy state, we're going to look first at the radial equation, so just the Bessel function. So we want to find the first zero of the Bessel function to find our first stable energy state. So we're just going to pick a beta, see what we got. So I've got to go a little bit farther, getting closer, too far. Okay, so let's, let's back this up, maybe that. Okay, so this is our first zero of our Bessel function of the first kind. So now that we have that, we're going to generate a counterplot and a revolution plot, which includes the rest of this equation. So you get a sense of what this wave function actually looks like. Very cool. First energy state goes to zero at the boundary. Well behaved, finite, just what we want. So let's find the second zero. Oh, too far. Let's go. That's better. Okay. Second zero, we've got another ripple. Gonna get a little bit more interesting. Let's go for the third. And another, and this continues as you would expect. You can also change your new value for your vessel function to get perhaps your next excited state. So that's your first zero of the uh, with a new equals one for the vessel function. Uh, these get more complicated, more interesting. You can change your new. You get an energy calculation every time you go. Uh, you can also change n, which greatly increases your energy. Um, and then there's a the quantum donut problem, which is where you actually have uh, potential at infinity anywhere with a radius less than one or greater than three. So it's a boundary value problem, which is why you have Bessel function of the first and second kind. So same deal though, you just want to find the first zeros. But you need it to be zero at both one and three, because again we want well-behaved and finite wave functions. That looks like the first good zero. That's what that looks like, your nice donut-shaped thing. These are all degenerate states as well. You have a cosine and a sine. You can flip that 90 degrees and still get it. <clears throat> again, you can change this. Go again, find your next zero. And that is what this program does. Thanks.